And here's the leader with two to go, Sheldon Creed. It's only fitting that this 28 of Sheldon Creed goes to victory lane here in the finale of 2018. I think the show man is going to be a superstar. They call him the showstopper. He's won in just about everything. He won off-road super truck championships at 16 and 17 years old in Robbie Gordon's stadium super truck series. What a job Jeff Stankiewicz, his crew chief there, left side of your screen has done this year. Inside the final lap for Sheldon Creed. Final few turns. He wrapped up the championship with his first laps in practice as Michael Self has a problem. He'll try to limp his way to the finish. Meanwhile, Sheldon Cree is going to cap off a championship with his fourth win of the season. Coming to the checkered flag, Sheldon Cree has a magical 2018 season. He's the champion and wins the season finale in Kansas. Sheldon Creed celebrating in style, sliding across the grass at Kansas Speedway. He already clinched the championship entering the weekend, but wrapped it up with a race win tonight at Kansas Speedway. And look at this season, Phil. It was terrific before the race started. He <laughs> adds to the win total. Yet another top 10 finish and his average finish for 20 races on all sorts of different venues, 4.2. 16 of the 20 in the top four, and Jim Trado is in victory lane to greet the champ. He's climbing out of a car that looks like he just drove an off-road race. He did that as a youngster winning five off-road championships, but as a champion, can be flagged by his grandfather, Maurice Ortega, who's been there literally since day one, as well as his late wife, Linda. Grammy Strong, you talk about Strong. How'd you do with that fender flap in the whole race, Sheldon? I honestly don't know. I thought we were out there. I got stuff all over me, but what a good car. Leading it. That's why I thought that's how we have spotters. Lapper just drives into me. I don't, that could have been my fault. I don't know. But uh, guys patched it up. It's still falling apart. I could see the front wheel, the left front wheel from, from where I was sitting just because the crush panels were blown out of it. And I thought we were out of it there. Um, then a couple other fast cars fell out and uh, got a good restart there at the end. That kind of gave us control. And the guys tightened up the car there uh, when we got tires there at the end. And, and what a rocket ship that was. That was that was really fast at the end. And uh, I don't know, that's Kyle Busch stuff right there, I feel like. Tore our brace car and still win it. So uh, just rad. Just got to thank everyone, my, all my guys, uh, Jeff, Pat, Steve, Turbo, Martin, Mark, one of our, uh, our team owners here. Um, <laughs> That's your crew chief giving you a fresh shower if you aren't wet enough yet. A.M. Ortega, General Tire, um, they've been great to us all year long. Uh, BKP for paying my helmets. Everyone that's helped us out this year. Um, all my sporters back home. I, I have a lot of my family here. Uh, my girlfriend said she's bad luck, but I finally won one in front of her, so that's pretty cool. Um, just pump, pump my whole family's here, pump to bring it home with a win, and uh, looking forward to trucks next weekend. Girlfriend Alessa back there, your mom Renee, and here is the hardware you're going to be receiving in December officially. Mark McFarland, MDM Motorsports representative, given the championship trophy 